Okay, now let's look at how to forward packet based on the route. So actually, when a router decides to which outgoing uh, interface they should transmit, actually they will compare all the routing entries in the routing table, and they will use this longest matching to do the comparison. So the process is like this. Assume that they will transmit a packet to this destination, and we will write it down, okay? Then there are three different entries in the table. So you should compare one by one. And for the first one, find that it is mismatch, right? So this will not be considered. But for this one and this one, both of them are matched. You see, so here is matched. Here is also matched. Then which one should we select? Actually, we will follow the longest match rule. This one match with longer bits. So we will transmit the package through this entry. And, and this is better than this one. So this is an example. So if the router's routing table is like this, and we want to transmit a packet to this IP address, then we compare this IP address with these three different networks. Then you can see that although both this one and this one matches, but this one with higher, with longer match. So we will select this one and we will forward the packet to this route. Okay. Also, this is another example. If we have the routing table like this and we want to transmit to this destination, so we can see that both this one and this one are matched, but this one with the longer match. So we will transmit the packet to this router, okay, according to this entry with the longest match. Okay, so as we already know how to generate the routing entries and how to do the comparison, now we can summarize them together to know the whole process of routing-based forwarding. So assume that in this network, we want to transmit a packet to this IP address. Then actually we need to do the routing and forwarding one router by one router. Okay. So first the packet comes to this router and this router finds that this entry matches. So they will forward through this interface, through the interface zero and then traverse the subnet, and then arrive this router. And this router will check, yeah, this entry matched. So they will go from the interface one to this interface, and then finally to gateway three. And gateway three have its own routing table, and they also do the longest match. So they matched with this entry, and finally go through this one. So finally, the package have arrived in this destination subnet. So that's all for the forwarding process. So in this process, you can see that first, every gateway or every router should maintain a routing table, and they will forward the packet according to the destination. So that is a destination-based forwarding.